New cases of COVID-19 in South Korea are now far lower than they were at the peak of the Omicron wave, which is a major reason why masks are no longer required outside. The authorities have found the first case of a new subvariant, though, but it's not believed at this point to be more severe. Our Han Sung-woo has the details. From nearly a three-month low of around 20,000 just the previous day, South Korea's daily tally of COVID-19 infections shot up to more than 50,000 on Tuesday. But it also marks 13 days in a row that the figure's been below the 100,000 mark. And according to health authorities, the nation's weekly caseloads been declining for six weeks straight. The fourth week of April saw a total of roughly 410,000 cases, an average of 58,215 a day. That's a 34 percent drop from the week before. The reproduction number, meanwhile, has been under one for five weeks in a row now at 0 0.74. There's a different cause for concern, though. Korea has detected its first case of the Omicron subvariant dubbed BA.2.12.1. A woman in her 50s who arrived in South Korea on April 16th from the United States and was confirmed with COVID-19 the day after. This new subvariant spreading fast across the U.S. and its detection rates believed to be faster than that of the BA.2 subvariant. But there's no proof yet that it's more severe. Officials have also confirmed one additional case of the XE and XM mutations each, and epidemiological investigations are reportedly underway. This came as the country lowered the risk level of the virus in regions outside the capital area by one notch to moderate. Seoul and the surrounding area has remained the same at moderate since late last month. On Monday, excluding gatherings of over 50 people, the outdoor mask mandate was lifted after being in place for a year and a half. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.